So this is a very short video on how to use and what is driving mode on a Samsung Galaxy S3. So this is an S3 in front of us. I'm going to scroll down to the notification area and then over and you'll see driving mode. I'll turn it on for fun and then I'll turn it back off. Uh, what driving mode is supposed to be is a service that's provided by your phone that reads to you uh, or tells you uh, through a voice who has sent you a recent email or a, um, an inbound text. Uh, it may even read the message to you depending on the settings you have. Uh, the problem with it is it's very flaky and just pra pra practically just doesn't work very well at all. Uh, there's lots of um, uh, blogs on this. Anyway, I'll show you what I do know about it uh, because the documentation, which if you're looking for it, is on page 111. Uh, and I'm going to show this to you right here. And here it is. Uh, for those of you who are interested. And a lot of the little details are wrong in this, including where to find the detailed information. You'll see on the uh, left here, it says to go to settings, voice input, and output. Um, close, but not quite. So let's go to it. I'm going to click the cog, and I'm going to go uh, all the way down to language and input which is not what's described in the manual. You also note it says the word input, not output, and certainly it's speaking to you is definitely output. Let's click uh, language and input, and then you scroll all the way down to text to speech to speech output. You click on that, and then there's driving mode, and you can click on it, and it will give you all of the settings. I'm gonna turn it on so you can read it better. Um, and as you can see, it's supposed to read to you incoming calls, you know, the, who their caller is, what the phone number is. Uh, that kind of stuff. A um, little bit of research on the show is that it seems to only do this for people that are in your contact list, um, and it often just doesn't do it. My testing has been pretty has shown it's been a pretty weak feature. Um, to get it to even enable properly, I had to turn it on, then uh, pull the battery and reset. And that is driving mode. So I'm just going to click back, and I'm going to go back to the top here to the notification area, and I'm going to turn driving mode off because it's a silly feature I don't want to use. Bye-bye.